What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, letterboxing and crop marks. Um, you see, when you go to the theater, the movie will be ultra wide and sometimes they even have to move the curtains to the side because the movie is such a wide angle. Well, that's because they shot in Cinescope. Cinescope, yes. Um, that's kind of what it's called. Um, it, that just means the aspect ratio is wider than the standard high definition. That is 16 by 9. And um, Cinescope is anywhere between 2.35 to 1 or to 2, 4 point something. Um, but basically, so you can achieve that by um, displaying it on a high definition monitor. You need to crop it and that'll display black bars on the top and bottom and uh, that'll give it the cinematic look. So basically you have to crop that in your video so that you know what's in your shot. So if you were to record 1080p be like, oh, hey, I'm recording, this is a cool scene. And then you crop it, you might cut off your actor's head. And um, so it's very necessary that you show the letterbox while you're actually shooting. So the only way to do that with um, the lower end DSLRs, um, and it is a mod, so it only works for Canons too, which is also a drawback, but um, it's mostly for video and um, Nikons aren't specific videos, for specific for videos. Um, so anyway, what I can do is hit the trash can button and it'll open up my menu. This is called Magic Lantern. It's an awesome firmware uh, hack, I guess you could call it. Um, but basically, I'm going to go into the live view and hit crop marks. And um, you can make your own and stuff, but it has some just preloaded. Here's the Cinescope. And we're going to go right back into... What are we in? We're in movie. Um, and now you can see those two black lines across the top and bottom with a red bar. Uh, I guess that's just for contrast. Um, another feature you'll notice um, is the audio. You can see it. Um, you can see your levels, which is really nice, um, especially when you have a microphone. And you can turn off automatic gain control, which is super annoying and it usually will screw up your video's um, audio. Let's fix that. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching. I will, uh, I will record a short bit for just a second. Um, and we're recording this so that I will put it in um, Premiere, and then I'll basically show you how to crop it. Okay, so now that we're in Premiere, um, I'm going to apply the crop um, for the video. Notice how it's not cropped. It is, um, all the color information is there, all the video is still there. Um, the crop marks were only displayed over the video, so none of the data is actually lost. Um, so now, I basically included a template for you to um, go and download on the linky below. Um, it will take you to Mediafire and it'll give you a um, set of letter boxes that have transparent C and everything, so you can just go ahead and download those and then it'll give you all the aspect ratios in 720 and 1080p including any sort of crops for standard and ultra wide resolutions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so what we're going to do now is apply the 1080p uh, 240 to 1 letterbox and because Magic Lantern, um, I basically compared it to my computer screen and it turned out that their Cinescope is 240 to 1 and it could be anywhere from 235 to um, anywhere in the mid 4s. Um, so now it is cropped. It looks good. I recommend throwing the crop on it first before you edit it so that you see what you're color correcting and whatnot. Um, but anyway, you're good to go. So now it's the time where I tell you to do things at the end of my video. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment. I really love comments. Please subscribe. Please, um, please tell your friends. Please do other things. What other things can you do? Um, Subscribe, comment, rate. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.